This is one of the nicer properties at one of the entrances to Birkenhead Park. Birkenhead Park was, we are told, an inspiration for Central Park in New York and you can see by the detail of this property that it was more than, it was quite exceptional for its time, important even with an orangery which has been attached to the end. Now we're talking about 1845, 1850 and in fact some of the areas of this park have references to our old friend Crimea. So we were fighting, as I record this, we're still fighting for recapturing Crimea just as we were in when this park was conceived in the 1840s. Here's the layout of the park, or should I say parks, because it's divided. Divided into areas which I am inclined to think were different stages of the development. Here is the showbiz biography of the park as prescribed by the local council. Although the council proclaim it a public park, I think when it was opened and it was conceived as a private park for those who were part of the housing development, and this was the recreational area, uh, they perhaps through the the UK in in principle industrial areas that had green areas and estate developments which were included as part of the amenities of enjoying or buying the properties and enjoying the properties. Um, it's still the case in some parts of London, some small green areas with surrounding properties, those who own the properties have access to the green area, not the general public. The park is large and laid out similarly to important properties with grounds which were which are still sort of farms and large country residents where the fortunes generally were made. Uh, parks had a ride through them, there were specimen trees, a lot of it was grass grazing and it enabled the occupiers of the property, the owners of the properties, to actually take out their carriage in the evening, tour the grounds, which had two, two purposes, see what was going on, and also the fact it was recreational. These properties sit on the more higher ground of Birkenhead Park and I'm not sure if this is one property and I think it, that it possibly is a very important property. And as you can see by the widths of the, the roadways, the rides, had plenty of room for two carriages horses and to to walk the area without entering onto the grass so you could socialize meet people of your own kind and generally create business and talk about making money as there's a little else in life to talk about it's rather a splendid 
concept. If I focus in on the style of building, it's very similar along the Mersey in the areas where there was strong industry and that was primarily almost uniquely shipbuilding and further up estuary of the Mersey we can go to Rock Hill, Rock Ferry which has virtually identical buildings. This was a concept by people who conceived an idea that we are going to create this in an image that we want and we are going to create business here and we are going to create the types of property that these people with money will want to stay in. In Birkenhead itself is Hamilton Square which is a very important architectural square in the centre of Birkenhead and although I could put in snippets really Birkenhead say for example you're in New York and want to find out more about its connection with Birkenhead and its design layout and architecture perhaps should look at Google Maps it's Hamilton Square is quite an exceptional square it's totally run down now with uh, sort of social housing and multiple lets in it but it was a very very important area very close to where some of the groundbreaking ideas in shipping and the British Empire took place without Birkenhead and the manufacturing of shipping as, a, as opposed to Liverpool, which is in importation, that was goods. Birkenhead was manufacturing, it was the other side of the estuary, and it's quite a fantastic area to explore. There is much in Liverpool, but when you want to look to the nuts and bolts of the British Empire, certainly Birkenhead needs to be explored. I could go on about Birkenhead for ages, but I'm going to spare you that. But certainly I was, it is not possible to cycle around Birkenhead without coming across something which resembles the early tramways. One of the first tramways in the world were built in Birkenhead, you know, to, com to commute people to work. And that is the purpose of public transport. It's nothing other than creating cheap transport 